Hello everyone. Today we're going to explore the water level monitoring system in a factory. Did you know that an intelligent water level monitoring system can help save a lot on daily production costs? By combining automation technology and IoT, this system not only accurately tracks water levels, but also automatically adjusts to ensure that the production process runs smoothly. In today's lesson, we'll simulate this system using ultrasonic sensors to monitor the water level in a tank. The system will alert us when the water level is full or low, and it will visually display the water level in real time on a computer screen. Let's get started on this project. Let's dive into Pictoblox to craft a captivating visual interface for a water tank. Wave goodbye to Mr. Bear and let's sketch out the shape of our water reservoir.
Hop into the Variables section to create a storage variable. Our mission, create a variable called ultrasonic. This little gem will hold the readings from the ultrasonic sensor. Don't forget to tick that box so ultrasonic shines bright on your screen. As our program kicks off, we'll attach the ultrasonic sensor reading function to our variable. To sync up with hardware, select the board menu. Choose Arduino Nano your faithful companion. But remember, your hardware choice might steer you differently. Once your Arduino Nano board connection is set, head over to the sensor menu to pick a reading function. Assign it to your variable. Let's set pin 12 for trigger signals and pin 13 for echo signals. All this juicy data will nestle into our ultrasonic variable. Next, we'll select a continuous loop to read data in real time. A short delay keeps the data stream stable. Then, give the flag a click to see if our sensor data is rolling in. Ah, numbers flow in, but their decimal floats. Decimals and commas galore. Time to round them into whole numbers with the round function. Now the data is neatly rounded into perfect integers. Let's whip out some comparison magic to display the water levels on the tank. Now, rename those types to percentages to streamline block selection. No more type confusion here. Head to the display section, drag over the display blocks that fit the water level settings. We've got display names like full, 90%, 80%, 70% down to empty. Match each with the actual water levels accordingly. Slide them into place. Time to tweak our measuring distance in the code and toss in a sound alert when the water's full. Now, the comparison data is snappy with the measuring distance at 20 centimeters. 
tube divided into 10 sections of 2 cm each. Let's run a system check to ensure everything runs smoothly. When the tank is brimming, hear the alert for the operator as water levels fluctuate. The tank graphic on screen follows suit in real time. Data is presented visually, stunning and absolutely engaging.